So in the previous video, we talked about uh, class visibility. Visibility of attributes and methods can also be modified using different keywords. These keywords are called access modifiers. For top-level classes, there are only two access modifiers. Either you set it as public or you don't indicate any modifier, which will set the visibility to default. When we say top-level classes, these are just your normal classes. They are defined outside of any other classes. We defined a couple of classes in the previous video. These are your top-level classes. Or we can just simply call them classes. The opposite of this would be your nested or inner classes. These are classes that are defined inside another class. Nested and inner classes can be set to any of the four access modifiers, public, protected, default, and private. Aside from the inner class, attributes and methods can also be set to any of the following modifiers. Here we have a class diagram that has two projects. The first project is called LSPU. The second project is called CCS. The CCS project contains only one class inside the default package, while the LSPU project contains three classes, the main class, student class, and teacher class. Teacher class is inside the faculty package. The download link for the exercise files will be in the description. It's going to contain two projects. CCS and LSP, you just have to open it in NetBeans at the same time. So classes can only be public or the default. If we try to use protected, it's going to give us an error. If we try to set this to private, it will also be invalid. Again, for classes, the only valid access modifiers would be your public and the default. For nested classes or inner classes like this one, we have a class called course, which is defined inside our student class. So this is an inner class. For nested or inner classes, all access modifiers will be applicable. So we can set this to private or protected, public or the default. Attributes and methods can be set to any of our access modifiers. So it can be set to protected, private, public, or the default. So it's not going to give us any errors. Same thing for methods. They can be protected. So it's valid. No errors. Could be Private, okay, no errors. Public, no errors for the default. We leave the access modifiers of the classes to the default and uh, we'll try to access the student and teacher classes in the main method of the LSPU project. So here in that means we have the student and teacher class we're going to try to instantiate them inside the main class. So I'm going to open the main class. I'm going to go to the main method. I'm going to instantiate the student class. So student. I'm going to give it a name. Equals new. Student. And let's see if we're going to get an error. So we don't have any error if we build and run. It's successful. So the main class has access to the student class. Remember, the teacher class is located on a separate package called faculty. The teacher, Pedro, plus new teacher. So now we're getting an error, cannot find symbol. So this is because teacher is on a different package and we need to import this package to this class. So right on top, we're going to say import faculty teacher. So after importing, we're still getting an error on both import statements and instantiation statements that teacher is not public in faculty. So with the default access modifier for the teacher, it's not going to allow us to instantiate this class 
on classes to a different package. So we'll fix that later. For now, let's open up the CCS project and its main class. So if we try to instantiate the student class, student, let's give it a name, new student. It's going to give us an error because it's not able to find this class because it belongs to the other project. So what we want to do is to include the LSPU project in the libraries of the CCS project. So to do that, you right click libraries of the CCS project, add project. You want to select the LSPU project, add project jar files. And now our student class is recognized. So with the default access modifier, our student is accessible on another project. Okay, let's try the teacher class. Teacher, Jane, it's new. Teacher. Okay, so it's still giving us an error. Let's try to change the class visibility for our classes. So the default is not working for the teacher class. So we'll try to use public. I'm going to go back to the teacher class and add the keyword public, which is going to fix all the errors that we have. Okay, This is for the LSPU project main class and for the main class of our CCS project. Okay, So we need to import this. So import faculty.teacher. So now we are able to access all the classes from a different project using the public access modifier. So this time, let's take a look at access modifiers for attributes and methods. Okay, so from the LSPU project, I'm going to try to access the attributes and methods of student and teacher inside the main class. We already have instances of both classes will just try to access their attributes and methods. So let's try the name attribute at name for the student class. Let's try to assign a value. We are able to access the attribute. So the name attribute has a default access modifier. So that means classes inside the same package will be able to access it. Since student is in the default class the same package as the main class we are able to access the name attribute let's try the say hi method say hi and it is allowing us to access it let's try the teacher class Pedro that name equals Peter. Although we are able to instantiate teacher, we are not able to access its attribute. Let's try the method. Say hi. So also, we are not able to access its methods. The reason for this is because we are using the default access for say hi and the attribute name. And since the teacher class is on a separate package, the main class from the default package unable to access them. So for us to fix this, just like what we did on the, the class definition, we're going to add public to the attribute. So now the attribute is accessible. Let's try the same thing for the method. Public. Let's do the same for the other package, CCS project, main class. Let's try to access the attribute and method of our classes.
it's a success let's try the method so it's accepted let's try the teacher let's try the method let's try the method and they are accepted so let's explore the last access modifier which is private so I'm gonna go back to our student class set the attribute to private and the method to private I'm gonna do the same for the teacher class I'm gonna set everything to private And let's see what's gonna happen. So from the main class of the LSPU project, we're getting some errors. So everything is invalid. We are unable to access both attribute and methods of both classes because they are now set to private. In the CCS project, same thing is happening. So no more access to our classes, methods, and attributes. When an attribute or method is set to private, the only class that can use those attributes and methods would be its own class. So only student will have access to its name and say hi method. Same thing for the teacher class. Only the teacher class can access its attribute and method. Once we get into the topic of subclasses, we will go back to the access modifier protected to illustrate how it works. So for now, this is all for access modifiers, and I'll see you on the next video.